and in Guy's garage, Cami has indeed found the perfect Volvo for the project. Oh, wow, an eBay. Volvo. Ooh, that's nice. Volvo 240 Estate. I'll tell you, that looks all right. What makes this car even better is it's only four miles from Guy's garage. It's what we want. It's manual, it's tatty, it's an estate, it's a 240. Yeah. Perfect. It, yeah. But to, uh Don't put too fine a point on it. Go on. I've already bought one, Paul. So what? We've, the, the perfect car has cropped up, right? And we're looking at it saying, right, yeah, this is probably what we want. And now you're telling me, what are you showing me that for, then? Why don't you just tell me the truth in the first place? I just like, I know you like it. looking at Volvos. So go on, what have you bought? It's a Volvo. Right. Two that's all right. Yep, that's all right. But it's not an estate. It's a saloon, isn't it? You're not telling me it's yeah, out it's else. A it's a saloon. It's right, a saloon. OK. Right. How much did you pay for this? 1,200 quid. Dickhead. No one's perfect, Chief. You paid him? Yeah. Go on, where is it? Dagenham. End of the earth, man. Yeah, we we'll, we'll like Starbucks cafe. <laughs> So while the perfect Volvo is just four minutes down the road, Guy and Cammy have to hitch up the trailer and head four hours down the road to East London. We're a long way from Grimsby. Hell of a long way. Uh, I've got a picture on my phone. We'll go have a look for her. She's done well, aren't she? That's her. It's the Volvo. 88. 88, 89. Yes, yeah, Minta. Oh, shit. It's been sat here a week or two, hasn't it? Yeah, problem, Chief. She's automatic. <laughs> what, you said it was a manual? It never said. It never said. What the hell's that? What the bloody hell's that? It never said that on the actual sheet. What did he say? It never mentioned it. It didn't <laughs> even say the year. She got yeah, that is up. a problem. Really, we want a manual gearbox. I want to decide what gear I mean. We ain't got absolute control, you know. It's got his place. Auto gearboxes have got the place. Not for folk racing in Sweden. Autos are not the job. I mean, we'll get a gearbox out of a scrappy somewhere. That's all doable. It's all doable. As the boys continue to have a sniff around... Look, my mate's a salesman. He always does that. Look, never smoked him. Yeah. The seller, yeah. Lucien, arrives. You all right, Degra? Yeah, Pa. You all right, mate? You the man that owns the car? Yeah, I'm the car. Now, mate, how's it going? Nice to meet you, mate. Nice That's to meet you. Off. How long has it been stored? About a year. You oh. got the keys, Pop? Uh, I think they're in the glove box. Really? Spur key. <laughs> Always got to have the spur key. You'll see all the receipts in the back. Yeah, so right, the deal's done. Yeah. He's paid you your money. Yeah, I've got my money, yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll see if she goes. Go on, see if they've got a jump pack in there. Yeah, I'm going to ask. Got it, Chief. Cheers, mate. You ready? <laughs> Brakes might be locked on a bit. And I say, that's TV bullshit. They've just moved that. We haven't. Genuinely. That hasn't moved for a year, has it? Lucien, thank you very much, mate. I'm a bit annoyed, actually. I bought the wrong car. He's not hit me. That's a good thing. We're going to have to take a gearbox out and then see what happens after that. I think he's happy because it means taking it to bits. So it's just another reason to get, like, knee-deep in engine oil and stuff like that. But this has thrown a right spanner into the works. 